As the former capital and the largest city in the country, Almaty has many statues and monuments that commemorate famous figures and events throughout the history of Kazakhstan. Today, I will take you on a little tour to see a few of the statues I visited. Our first stop was Panifilov Park, a park dedicated to 28 Panifilov soldiers of an Almaty infantry unit who defended Moscow during the Second World War. There are quite a few statues and monuments of various Soviet heroes in the park, including the statue of Baruja Mumushili, a Kazakh Soviet deputy commander and author who was titled as the Hero of Soviet Union and the People's Hero of Kazakhstan. His statue was completed in 2010. And this enormous monument in the park, built in 1975, celebrates soldiers from all 15 Soviet republics. We then went to see the statues of Manchuk Mamietova and Alia Maldagulova. These two women were skilled machine gunner and sniper during the World War II, and sacrificed their young lives at ages 18 and 20. Their statues have stood here since 1997. We grabbed a quick lunch and headed to the statue of Abai Konbaoli next to Kemap University. The statue was built back in 1960 to commemorate the poet and one of the most celebrated figures in Kazakhstan. The statue of Kazakh folk singer and poet Jambo Jabayev and his Dombra was completed in 1996, and the Jambu province in southern Kazakhstan was named after him. We wanted to check out the statues of the Republic Square, but the place was under construction. Well, we just have to come back another time. The last monument on our trip is called Rasvet Svobody, or the Dawn of Freedom. It was completed in 2006 for the 20th anniversary of the 1986 December protest that took place in Almaty during the Soviet regime. Well, that's all of the statues I have for you today. There are many more of them here in Almaty for us to explore on our future trips.